Tino Amateur Stallions, five in six years. Ladies and gentlemen, this is class number 252, Classic Venus Stallions for five and six year old stallions, amateurs to ride. All the horses are in the class now. There seems to be four entries that have declared their concern about coming in here and they're gonna get this job done. Five and six year old Classic Venus Stallions, amateurs to ride. Sixty-five percent in the classic phenol gate is adjudicated in this class. Appearance, confirmation, way of going, another fifteen percent. Consistency of the classic phenol gate is what is being judged. Again, this surface is very staccatoing. The judges can hear very well along that rail, so you must be, or you must have your horses in gate at all times. Five and six year old stallions, that should not be a problem. Hold, please, hold. Paso, fino, fino, please. Reverse, please. Reverse. You know, ladies and gentlemen, over the years, they've asked us why we put a halt in the classic pheno division. Well, that halt is there for several reasons. Main reason is for the, for the horse to have just a break for just a few moments, to take a breather, to take the pressure off, but it takes a lot of energy to maintain this classic pheno gait. And secondly, it allows the judges 
to see the horses from the halt go right first step into the classic pheno gate. So the, the reason is twofold. That's the reason we do the halt. Hold, please, hold. Paso, Fino, Fino, please. Well, do you think it takes a little bit of manners for a horse to be executing this gait 100% and then come to a dead stop in a halt. I think it does. I think it takes a lot of training and it takes a great attitude, not only the rider, but the horse. Reverse, reverse, please. Beginning with five, two, seven, cinco, veintisiete. Let's take the sounding board, please, both directions. And then you might proceed at the line up facing your ringmaster.
Well, all these classic Fino stallions have traversed the sounding board. The judges will now determine if they want more work or if they're able to pin the class. These were amateur riders. They didn't necessarily need to own these horses, but they do have to have an amateur card. The information is coming in in an amazing amount of people that are viewing us from around the world at this time. Countries outside the normal countries that would be involved in this, as in Puerto Rico, Colombia, Curaçao, Aruba, the Dominican Republic. Oh no, we're going much wider than that. Six or seven more countries have tuned in and they are viewing us and you on Paso Horse TV right here at the 2019 Spectrum International Show. For those of you that have just tuned in, we welcome you aboard. We now have official results to class number two of 52. Fino Stallions, five and six years amateurs to ride. Fifth place, fifth place, ladies and gentlemen, goes to entry 362, 362, fifth place, Goloski, owned by Jose Rodriguez, Summerfield, Florida, presented by Milton Ortiz. The fourth place is being granted to 527 Ali de los Reyes. So as I said before, the fourth place was granted to 527 Ali de los Reyes, owned by Cristina and Natalie Reyes, Miami, Florida, presented by Miguel Reyes. The third place is being awarded to 471 Hidalgo de RF, owned by Bianco Gonzalez in Miami, Florida, presented by Wanda Ayala. The second place, Red Ribbon, 
goes to four, three, five, Tesoro de Villa Floralina, owned by Alina Mansur, presented by Alina Mansur. And the first place, ladies and gentlemen, the blue ribbon goes to 446 Conquistador del Conde, owned by Javier Suarez in Summerfield, Florida, presented by Maria Suarez. Felicitaciones. Well, ladies and gentlemen, on the popular vote, it looks like you're 